Got my Chipotle. I have not had this in forever. Starting off our day with some Chipotle, but today is a really exciting day. I just got word that the BRZ is pretty much done from the wrap. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know we installed the new wide body kit for SEMA. So I'm hoping today we will be able to fully assemble the entire car. So yeah, for you guys, this is the reveal video for the BRZ. So it's super, super exciting. And yeah, overall, I'm just so happy. And uh, today is gonna be a good day. And we got some Chipotle as well. <laughs> I haven't showed you guys yet either. We got the wheels. So these are the same ones that were on the FRS, as you can tell. We sent them to bulletproof coating and uh, they pretty much brushed the lips and uh, refinished the center. Just kind of made it look brand new again. Uh, so we stuck with the white, obviously. Kept the black hardware. Uh, only thing different is the brushed lip. So a little change up for SEMA. I figured why not since we're, you know, redoing the whole BRZ. So yeah, the Meisters are going on the BRZ just with a different style, I guess you can say. All right, so I think we got everything loaded up. So we're actually assembling the car at the wrap shop. So I think we got everything, the carbon stuff, the side skirts, the lip, got a bag of tools over there, and uh, also the bash bars. I haven't showed you guys this yet. We got the rear bash bar as well as the front. I'll go and show you guys once we get to the shop, but um, I think we're good to go. It is nighttime. I think the last time I was filming was, I don't even know. It was a long time ago, probably like five or six hours ago, but we're at the shop right now. I'm looking right at the beers here right now. I think for this video right now, I'm probably gonna put it in black and white. I know it's kind of boring. I'm sorry guys, but I'll probably reveal the color and everything once all the pieces are on, you know, all the carbon and the wheels and stuff. But um, here it is guys. Like I said, sorry if it's black and white, but uh, we've been working on installing the kit. So far we've put the driver's side. Uh, so I gotta work on the passenger side as you can see right here. And we got the front bumper. Front, as you can see, we got the white bash bar. It looks so freaking sick. I don't even think I told you guys yet, but yeah, we are running bash bars. They're both white. I'm gonna start working on the passenger side right now. That's what it looks like literally with nothing on it besides the front fenders. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put these pieces on and make some progress because it is 10.39, two hours away from home, and I have work at 6 a.m. So I think we're pulling an all-nighter tonight because uh, we only have like two days literally. So shout out to Manny for letting us use the shop to install this. Yeah, let's keep going and um, dude, this is a freaking mess. kind of doing a bad job filming this. We've just been assembling for the past few hours. It's so late, it's probably like two in the morning. Oh man, I'm just looking at the freaking beers here now and it's, it's crazy. It was just so hard to see the vision, obviously when the car was disassembled, you know, without the wrap. But um, now seeing it in close to its final form, got a few things left to do, but official guys, it's crazy. Cannot believe it. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the BRZ. It's been about a few days since the last clips you guys saw and the BRZ is officially wrapped. Right now, it is actually the day of that we have to load the car up onto the trailer to take it to Vegas to SEMA. Saturday right now, it's about 2 p.m. and uh, we're loading up the car at 9 p.m. We still have a few things to do to the car. I think I'm just gonna show you guys the color right now and I'm um, just show you guys what we do today with the car. I, I'm just gonna have to reveal the color right now. So yeah, let's just go ahead to the backyard right now and I'll show you guys what color we went with for the BRZ. All right, you guys ready? Here it is. Metallic lavender from Enozatech. So this is the color that we went with for the BRZ. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna interrupt today's video really, really quick. Just dropped some new merch on the Border Supply website. We have the Beardsy t-shirt with the new wrap color, as well as some shirts with the STI. I also restocked on the High Prices Low Cards t-shirt that we recently dropped. All three of these t-shirts are now live on the website. Be sure to click that link down in the description below. Thank you guys so much to anybody who places an order. Honestly, it means the freaking world. But yeah, I just real quickly wanted to let you guys know that the new merch has dropped. That's enough talking. Let's get back into today's video and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the review. The fitment as is is pretty good, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a five millimeter spacer probably. Um, I went ahead and just shaved, that's why it's super dusty. Um, I was shaving part of the kit right here because it, it was hitting the tire when I was airing out. So yeah, I'm gonna take the wheels off on both sides, kind of get the camber situated and the spacers and uh, see how it looks. Uh, so these are actually PBM. Uh, bolt-on spacers i actually love these a lot so this is pretty much like a 30 millimeter kit this one right here is a 15 you can basically like adjust wheel fitment with a whole bunch of these spacers they're all stackable um so i think this is a 15 i have a seven a five and then a three uh, so you can really honestly perfect your fitment just like with these slip-on spacers so i'm gonna just put another five so this is gonna be a 35 millimeter i know it kind of seems a little bit sketch but as you can see it's all centered with the studs all the slip-ons so Pretty sick, time to throw the wheel on, and the fitment should be good after this. The airlift app right here, control us on the phone. Gosh, it's scary. Bro, look at this <laughs> My gosh. That's it, dude. Huh? That's it. This is hard. It. Literally, it's like fender to lift. Oh. Dude, like one more millimeter, it would hit the fender. But it's like. Perfect. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't think my fitment has ever been that good. Like, that's literally perfect. Alright guys, so moving on to the interior, as you can tell we got a nice quick release right here. I'm gonna throw this on the beer Z, it's kind of like last minute. But yeah, we got the hub and then quick release right here. So it's pretty much gonna be like almost the same thing that I have on the FRS. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to Renown for sending out the steering wheel and uh, this should be pretty quick. Let's do it. All right, so we take the air back off. You can tell we got it right here. We're gonna go ahead and take this nut off. I think it's a 17. Go ahead and break this loose first. So we don't hit our face. Nut. Carefully take this out without moving the clock spring. Just like that. So this pretty much bolts onto the hub. Much done. Heck yeah. I'm 6'2, so my seating position is pretty kind of pretty far. So the steering wheel kind of felt like I was reaching when I grabbed it, but since this one is so deep, that's what she said. It feels comfortable now. It's like a good position, just like literally the FRS setup. Um, but yeah, I like it. Nice man. Jesus Christ. 
color is insane. Dude, it looks so freaking crazy. Oh my gosh. Guys, this, oh my gosh. Dude. This car is so freaking gorgeous. Like, I just can't right now. I, I feel like I'm a broken record right now, but this car looks amazing. Like the color, the wheels with like the bash bar and everything. Guys, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking hyped. <laughs> Bro, what you guys think? Do you guys like the color? Hey, no photos, no photos. No photos. <laughs> Damn, first time rolling. Oh my gosh, bro, that's so sick. with the bash bar. I'm so freaking hyped, bro. Dude, the front end of the car is so nice, dude. That bash bar really set it off. Yeah. yeah. We just pulled up to Epic Wings. We're gonna get some food. Oh my gosh, bro. You guys like the wing list? Should we have put the big wing on? I'm kind of debating last minute, but I think we're gonna leave it. I might throw it on after the show, but I don't know. Probably put the duck wheel, the carbon duck wheel on, but not the big wing. I'm gonna air it out, see if he does. There it is. Gosh. Fender to lift. Damn. That is freaking hard. I think it's the best fitment I've ever literally had. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Jeez. So here she is, guys. It's 300 BRZ. We got here, Nick. Kind of matchy. This is purple, too. Damn. What's up? <laughs> you like it? It's fire. Dude, Bro, it's so bag your GTR. I've been telling you to bag your GTR. You should, All dude. Make me look like a monster. <laughs> I want him to bag crazy. his car so bad. That'd be so sick. It looks so sick. You like it? Dude, I'm the fitment came out perfect. Yeah, the, the front. I like the front. Are you going to tow it to Vegas? Yeah, I'm going to tow it. Like an hour or so. Oh, tonight? Yeah. All right, guys, I just finished up editing the clips you guys just saw pretty much at the end, and I had to split up some of the clips. Uh, so pretty much there's going to be like a part two because I do have a lot more clips um, on the drive on the way to Vegas. I had some sick rollers on the Vegas Strip, so that'll be in the next video. But anyways, I appreciate it so much if you guys reached this point in the video, and I hope you guys like the new wrap color as well as the wide body kit on the BRZ. It came out so sick. I literally just posted it up on Instagram probably like an hour ago and I've just been getting so much love. So honestly, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support and uh, all the love you guys show me, man. You guys are the best. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm back at home right now um, and the BRZ is like five hours away over in Vegas right now. Um, so I'm gonna actually go back to Vegas in about a few days. Had to come back to my hometown because I do still work a 9 to 5. But yeah, I'll show more of the BRZ probably in the next upcoming videos. Um, I didn't really I didn't really go through like a detailed walk around of the car in this video, I believe. But yeah, I just real quickly wanted to show you guys, you know, the wrap color, um, the kit on the car and everything. And pretty much how the BRZ finally sits right now at the show. It's so crazy. Like, guys, so much time was put into that car. It felt like a lot, but at the same time, a little bit because we only really had like three ish weeks to finish the entire car i was so freaking stressed but honestly blessed at the same time to even you know have this opportunity to do this um but it was stressful like i mean i had the car about a few hours away over at my friend lonzo's house um shout out to him man he helped out so much and um you know getting the kit installed and helping me out so shout out to you man dude i appreciate you so much uh, but it was stressful guys you know i would drive two hours 
after getting off of work, like my normal nine to five job, I would drive two hours over to his house and then work on the beersy over there and then drive back and I would be getting back at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the middle of the night. Um, and I have work at like six in the morning and sometimes I would just even pull an all nighter. Um, so it was, it was a lot. Literally blood, sweat and tears, man. Like it was crazy, um, but it was just such a relief dropping off the beer Z at SEMA. And um, just, I don't know, just looking at all the work we did and just thinking like we did it, you know what I mean? Like we made it happen in, in such a short amount of time. Yeah, it was just hectic. It was a crazy, crazy month. I was literally exhausted every single day. You know, at the end of the day, it was all worth it. I'm not complaining, I'm just, I'm just so blessed, you know, to be able to share this with you guys, have this opportunity to work with so many amazing companies like Street Hunter and Nose Tech, you know, the Rap Vault, you know, and many, many more companies. But honestly, I'm just, I'm just overall super thankful. Um, and shout out to all you guys who have helped me make this happen. And yeah, guys, I don't wanna go on rambling too much, but stay tuned for more content on the Beer Z. Like I said, we still have, you know, bringing the Beer Z to SEMA, and then I'm probably gonna film more over there as well. A little bit behind on schedule with these videos because SEMA is happening as we speak already. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna end it off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The new wrap, the wide body kit, and um, I don't know, it's like so much is happening right now. It's so crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a good one today. Make it a good one, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.